Welcome to the channel guys. Um, today's video we're gonna do a little sketching for, for, for tattooing. So how do I create sketches for my work and um, from, from, from scratch. So where, which app I use as I already made a video, a quick video or the app is called Procreate. And uh, I will make a decide here. So how to look for references, where to look for and so on. <laughs> So many people use different ways, techniques and ways to draw and how to draw and I make it as simple as possible. So here I will look into my Pinterest, so as a source of a platform I look a lot of references so I can normally use as a second window, open window. So I try to, to share my window so I have here a lot of references and stuff. Okay, nice. So I will look. I will do a lot of flowers or something I like a lot to draw. Some water, some maybe a little bug or something. Something very simple, something very easy to easy going. Lotus flower, lotus flower. Here we go. So I normally look for real flowers, like from from nature, no? so something I can get nice references from. So for example, this one here, it's already having my Pinterest. So I start normally with uh, on my pencil on my right side. So every, Pinterest, you can do different ways. You can set up your, your, your screen in different ways. If you have left hand, your right hand. So for me, I'm high on my right hand. So I have everything on the right side of the screen. So I start with uh, on my line as I have a lot of uh, different sort of uh, uh, brushes here in my brush library. So I have a color pencil, so I use the red one to start scratch with. So I just use a red. So I start normally on a circle, which is the not, that's the size of what I'm gonna use for. So as I use a reference, so I keep always both screens, it's just pretty screen on it. Yeah, so, and then I can create from there. So a petal, I always try to use similar shapes of the real flower itself. You know, so something which is, I can modify later. So this is the basic sketch only, it's nothing, you know, has to be followed that way. It's just something you can only create on your own. So it depends on your style, on your, what you wanna look for, what you're doing. So this is the same thing I used to do back in the day with with uh, a normal pen, no pencil, sorry. But now because it is, it's much easier digital, so I can only have my iPad and yeah, start to have a like, sketchbook, books, and, and, and in my, my backpack. To sketch now, I only have my iPad and everything is inside, so it's pretty much more like a handy, you know, so it's not like a... Also, also makes it easy. For example, if I can open, I, I always open layer, layer over layer over layer. So I have a layers of stuff, which I can delete if I have to, or I can modify when I have to. So here, by the way, I have I want a little bit one petal extra there, so to get more balance on the flower. So the balance of the flower here, from here is kind of in the middle circle. So that's the middle of the flower there. I make like an upside down cone. So then we have the reference where the middle is it. So then this petal is like that. So there. That. So normally I don't do this in the first sketch. I just like go with the, I make this, we call it very dodgy, very, very dirty sketch, you know? Okay. 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 And then the middle. The middle here so slightly, so I don't see much of it. But the path is in front. So here's the stem of it. 
In this case, my original, my original reference here has a nice, like a leaves and stuff, has a closed, closed petal. So I will open another layer. I'm gonna make it like a one closed one. And um, let's see. so again, it's a circle because it's just the shape of the flower. So, so use use for sketching like because um, geometric figures. So everything starts like that. Okay. So so this video we're gonna split in two two parts. So this is a drawing dance for 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 tattooing, right? So it's just totally different from many people do drawings, fantastic drawings, great stuff, really beautiful really stuff, but. When it goes down to tattoo itself, is not really. It's it's not to it's not to read. You need to read it, the drawing. The drawing has to be clean. It has to be tattooable, and many people create drawings which is amazing, but they are not good for tattooing. They are not for for what is the purpose of tattooing itself. So, and I try to to create everything. In the language of the twin language, you make it that that makes sense. So here we erase, so it's two touches. Erase the stuff, two fingers. So Procreate is a very amazing tool. It's, it's, it's like a Photoshop. Back in the day, I didn't use Photoshop because I'm too old school. But many people I know, they use Photoshop a lot. And I was still a bit backwards on that. Okay. So, so having both like that, I want to Comer down so we can really create this as you want. So here I'm making like that. Then open a new layer. So as I want this to be like in a Japanese style, so I want to make uh, so a lotus flower is it's a season, it's a spring season. So it's it's life. It's we have bugs. We have. Uh, uh, birds, season of birds, we have uh, blossoms. So everything which has life, has colors, is in this season, right? So it's spring. So, and water obviously is part of it. So we're gonna make a little bit of water as well. So a little bit of, uh, so the way I draw my water is always, I try to figure out which movement, what the direction of the wave I want, with a line imitating, I always shape of S, upside down S, Second S again, backwards. That's because the flow, the water always, if you close your eyes, imagine water, water always has the flow. It always flows around. Um, so, so one finger, we call finger, two fingers. I'm gonna go up here a little bit. So, another finger. Go a little bit out of there. The flow. So, if you imagine the waters breaking from into stones or into even to themselves when the winds, so it goes like that, right? So, basically, has no direction or no rules for that. As far as has flow, everything is is, is all is so good. So, so you obviously you can have a help. You can use you can you can drag the picture into your your Procreate, sorry, and uh, and create from there. But I like to practice drawing as well. So this is also a way to practice something, right? So I see that very much more for me useful in many different ways. And is there no time? pressure on make a drawing guys please don't hurry up on drawing because drawing is something which the longer you do the better will it look like okay so here basically we have the structure of the sketch so 
a close a close uh, flower, open flower, a leaf, a leaf, and maybe after I put a bird flying here, so you have like a kind of composition settle, and this is what we gonna work with. So now I have here again um, that. So this is interesting to have like this very nice. Um, because they are not so easy to draw, at least I don't find them easy to draw at all, which is the, the leaves of a lotus flower. But they have a very odd very crazy movement and stuff, and they're big, very big flower leaves. So for me, it's always like a kind of a challenge to draw them. Back to my, so then I've got, I go again into my layer, first layer, match down, and then I go to the neutral opacity. Go this, sorry, down to half fifty percent. Instead, then I change my my. So some new stuff we have updated now. The the new. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Uh, the new uh, Procreate and we have a different options now, which is really cool, though. I was saying, really, really cool. So, right, um, go back to, that, to my pencils again. So I have a bunch of different brushes, which I could lose for. So I'll use something different today now. Bones always up using the same thing. So, but I will try something new. So, Narinda, so that was for the water. Mm, too fine. No, I need something a bit more bulky for this. A bit more into okay. So first, I try the water always in a very more transparent way. So why I'm doing this video today? Drawing is more about like a, it's extremely important for a good process, a good project is um, a good drawing. And a good drawing takes a lot of time to to, to realize to develop. So. Because the tuning is a lot of about drawing most of it, so okay, so one little wave is done. So what I make is like a pretty much more get the flow of the wave itself. The reason why I use these uh, different colors is just because I can see better what I'm doing. So I do that also in in, in pencil. So I use red pencil first, and then go to the red. The, the blue later or black. I always use I never use the same pencil for to the end of the drawing the sketch. Yeah. So here you see is the old movement. So one wave goes like this, the other one goes like that and moves backwards. No? So basically it's a very simple thing, it's nothing so this is just one part of it. So second phase is like the flower. So these ones are gonna do in brown, I think. Or I'm gonna do deep green the stems. Just first to have an idea about the stems separated here. Most of my clients' drawings I create myself. Uh, obviously, they bring the ideas and stuff, and we brainstorm together, which is super cool. So, a lot of interaction between me and the clients, always. Which is, for me, is a very, very nice part of the job.
also very important in my opinion because that's how you know you what you're doing why you're doing and and so on yeah? because tattooing is more than just go to the studio sit in there get a whatever from the guy and then walk at the door it can happen it happens a lot in walking to two shops but at the end of the day you're taking home something which will stay with you possibly for the whole of your life right so you should have a little bit more just the feeling of the person who's doing for you and it's, a, it's, a, it's a intimate it's very intimate so here's the petal the petal sorry the leaf <laughs> oh my god um, So why do they choose these styles? Because my it's my definitely my favorite style. So to draw and to even to tattooing, of course. This is something really beautiful about this this style is that you have a no boundaries and no limitations. You can create anything as far as you respect the little basic rules of this style, of course, which is very simple in, in any kind of style. You know, some certain things which you can come to, if you guys are interested to know, make comments below and uh, thumbs up on the video if you like it, please. Be very helpful for the channel. But is there is there you know, some very important things you have to keep in mind and when you draw this style and also also tattooing it? Because you know it's certain things you have to respect in any kind of style. And uh, and unfortunately, not many people do. I see a lot, um, a lot of um, tattoos, which unfortunately have been respected. And no, 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 that's not right. Nope. Anyways. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I'm always trying to download stuff and save stuff which can be very useful for me. So Pinterest is one of the most useful and valuable tools for tattooers. I mean, I, I believe it's very, very important. You get anything, if you have the right um, um, words in the search window, you know, if you use the right uh, search uh, name or word, you'll find um, tons of nice stuff, and it's pretty much everything here. You can definitely find everything here. You know, I am really amused. I have a I have a folders on my my Pinterest if it's from diverse diversification of things. Oh, here, that's cool. So, okay, this is a nice, 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 very cool. So I, I sometimes I get extremely distracted actually, <laughs> which is bad, uh, because obviously. You know, it's, 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 you just get carried away from what you're actually originally doing. Do it to the the variation of stuff you find inside here. It's, it's, it's really unbelievable. So now let's go to second layer. So let's now get to red again. But open another layer. So now we're gonna work on the flower itself. So basically what I'm gonna do is open another different flower and just restart sketch again because I love to mix different style of flowers and stuff, it's just really really cool. So now we're gonna go change to another brush. Okay. So I will make this guy a bit low intensity so I can see better. It's pretty much the same color. So 
picture. Every artist in Japan, I mean, in this case here, I'm using now uh, like a, and a painting from a uh, Japanese artist from Edo time, possibly, which also obviously represents his his way to see the nature no? at the time. And so he created his drawings based on that way he sees the nature, which is amazing. And obviously it's, it's a great style, so very, very helpful and useful for what I'm imagining myself in my head, how to draw this. So basically I don't have, a, I, I use a few references, but mostly what I take is the position and the, and the proportion of the things, but I don't copy them. I don't do this one-to-one -one thing. Uh, once in respect to the artist, obviously, he's online, he's there, you know, you should, uh, I mean, I know a lot of people do, I have nothing against that, please don't, don't, don't blame me or shoot at me for that, but, you know, if you want to learn tattooing, you are a tattoo artist, you, you are in the industry, you know how it goes, Sometimes we get things which is like make our, our life easy. So you already have the app, you already have the tools, you have everything. Maybe take 20 minutes extra a day, half an hour, an hour extra. Get the reference next to it and create something based on that. But don't copy 100%, you know. Respect the other guys. He took the time, he took the time and the knowledge to do that. So obviously nowadays it's pretty much it's impossible to know use something to to get something so like let's say you have you you're gonna look for someone's or at someone work uh, to get your work done no doubt so you're gonna have a, a, a admiration about someone's work and you're gonna end up i wouldn't say copying it but you end up doing something which is similar to what he did or so her which is totally fine but that is i think is that is a different from sit on on a chair and just one to one copying it so i will finish this quickly guys so guys taking and we're gonna make a second video on that so like uh, how to make the line for stencil and how to to start the shadings where do you want to make it darker and so on contrast but it's a nice to know what you're gonna do <laughs> next next step right so you know what doing it especially if you haven't know much of experience if you're starting now or you 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 or you are you know imp like improving your your techniques you you know st studying maybe take a picture put comp look on the phone you know and then see because you always have a different angles different things on the iPad you can turn the picture around which is very important as well even mirror the picture so you can select everything once you have the sketch done mirror it and see from the different perspective. So get rest your eyes and you can get a different. So you're gonna see that you can improve always a little corner here, a little corner there. And to get the drawing. To get it the right way, the drawing to be the right to what you imagine, you know, so. So this is still phase of sketching, it's now the final design, it's not what I would use yet. So here we have one extra, so I could do an extra petal. Just have like a bit more balance and also get this more even. Doesn't have it to be symmetrical. You're not doing dot work. You're not doing symmetrical work here. You're just doing basically a freehand drawing based in something which is is there. Just let me save this. Actually, it's pretty nice one. A lotus, lotus, lotus. I have a folder here which is called lotus flowers. So I don't want lotus flower. So I, things I found, I don't want to lose them. So I keep putting them in my in my folders. So it's nice to have extra reference. It's always nice to have. Even sometimes I never look into them very often because, you know, I end up just looking for new things. But it's nice to have. I, 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 information, references is never, knowledge is never takes space. Better have too much than too less. Okay, the first flower is, is done. So now we go down to second flower, which is this, um, we call like a 
just it's not open, it's just closed one still. And here you have some very nice references for them. So the flower always have the stems like a little dots. Like a, imitating like this little very gentle kind of a, almost like a little hairs kind of thing. So from here, it's, it can create so much on this. It's like incredible what you can make of it. Ah, here we go. What I want from this guy is this beautiful libello. So, so dragonfly in English. Né? So in German, it's libello, which is a funny name. For... Okay, so I'm gonna make her first in green, in yellow, sorry. I'm gonna put up again my pencil, colored pencil. Okay, so how she stands there? So she is. So, first the head, circle. So, then you notice the eye, so it's a very funny shape. It's just like a mosquito. So, you have this really nice. And the legs come out almost from the head, so it's like behind the legs, a little bit under. So, then you can have this guy here grabbing, grabbing. It's so cool how they admire the nature. You know, this is a drawing done by an also a botanical um, professor or something. So it's a, it's a botanical drawing, and you can see how long the person who did this drawing took to watch the the, 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 the little animal or bug sit in a flower and and record that in a picture. This is really crazy. And thanks to them, we have this on the iPad. Okay, so, so that's just, right now it's a monster one, it's a giant one. As I'm still process of sketching it, but I have to be way smaller. So also another thing guys, a lot of people, especially when you start to draw, it's, you know, is the way you hold your pen or your pencil is very important to, like, uh, to be very gentle, you know, work with very subtle and soft strokes, right? So I saw people draw like, uh, they got the pencil like a boom. That's so sad because, you know, it's, it's, it's a paper, you know, it's a life somehow, you know, and you should, you know, you respect that. I saw it happening, so I always try to say, don't be angry at the paper. Please don't do that. In this case, here in the iPad, no? so the iPad has nothing. Okay. So I still keep a little big, so it's better for drawing. New sack. So now we're gonna go for different ton tons of blue again. Okay? This blue is cool. Different pencil. So now I need a very fine one, fine brush. So then here we go. Now we're gonna have to draw these little legs first. And now the eyes, again, as I said, it's very big, 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 big eye. And then it has this very funny shape. It's like a, a F-16 pilot glass, but on the side, kind of. So it's like a really, it's a Google for my F-16 pilot, but not, in the right direction, somehow. So this guy is also a pilot, of course, he flies, right? So, it's a big eye thing here. The little mouth. So, uh, in this case here, I don't detail so much, because again, you know, as I said, many things which work on a paper, on the iPad, will not work for the tattoo if you make too many, too, too many, too, Detailed and then goes to the skin and you have a no You know you have to make it very small so be aware of it Because that will be a problem And even if you do it How that gonna looks like in a 10 in about let's say 10 years ahead, you know like five years ahead not even the 10 years you, know, you don't have to go that far as a 10 years because, you know, unfortunately, we get old, our skin get old, and certain places and skin changes. 
So everything is, 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 is in process of change. So just make sure that you don't do things which later your client will come back to you and say, hey, look, it doesn't look as good as it was when we done. Which is normal, but many people don't understand that and they will blame you for that. So you can try to avoid that as much as possible doing an instructional client to get the way to that would prevent that to happen so for today guys i think this is the end of it we're gonna go back to the next video soon to finish the sketch and obviously this is my giant that makes you small now proportional to the full okay that is it for today so here we have and in the sketch, there's a calotus flower, a little, little dragonfly on top of it, and some water movement, which will, later we'll put maybe a couple more details here and there. So thank you for watching. If you like the video, please thumbs up. And uh, I will put the link for Procreate on the, be and on the bottom and the iPad. Thank you very much. Ciao.